YouTube, it is about 98 degrees today. Wow, that is hot. Hello world, I'm Maya Ryan, and I'd like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. Uh, so far, I've been able to share my own experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum. The second thing that I will do is give my two cents on autism in the media. The third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum, as well as your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers. And finally, I will cover topics of uh, things that I'm passionate about, in addition to doing day in the life type blogging. Okay, I bet you can guess what that luggage behind me means. I am headed down to the Georgia coast for a week. I am speaking and attending a conference as well as uh, spending some time walking on the beach. Jekyll Island is one of my favorite places and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. But anyway, I need to make a pit stop and then I'm going down to meet my ride. <laughs> I'll fill you in on what's going on. So, as I said, I'm going to the Georgia coast, staying at Jekyll Island and going to St. Simon. So, I'll show you some of the pretty scenery down there. Um, in the meantime, uh, my ride is not ready yet, but um, I wanted to let you know that I don't have my mini suitcase. I have my bigger purple one that I picked up at Belk's right before Washington, D.C. That said, this one is not my favorite for the following reasons. I mean, yes, it's light, but uh, for the price, it's just very low quality. And Ross, and what's that other place? Um, Marshall's, you can get a set for uh, a really good deal. And that's what I'm gonna do is get rid of this purple set and get something of a higher quality. I have a big red suitcase that used to belong to Lois, but um, I wanna give that away because that's taking up space in my closet. I want something that I can put all my suitcases in. Um, the red one's okay, but it's just too big. I'm in the middle of the road trip and my uh, boss is back there getting some gas and I'm using the restroom and picking up a couple of things to drink, one for me, one for him, and we're headed off. But it is hotter than blazes. I don't know how hot it is out here. Uh, I will have to ask Siri, but the road trip has been really smooth. And uh, I have a story about this place. And this is Metter, Georgia, by the way. Last time I was here was on my way to another autism conference in Savannah back in March. And uh, we stopped at the Shell station back there and I went to go use the bathroom. And that women's toilet was out of order. It was a freaking poop swamp. Couldn't even flush it. It was disgusting. I'm finally here. This is the Jekyll Island Holiday Inn Resort, and this is my second time staying in this hotel, my third time uh, being on this property because uh, 
we have done uh, some business down here. We've done retreats with a, a special um, advisory council that we facilitate every year, and it's a special retreat. And we've come down here on a number of occasions. And this year, uh, I'm not going to be able to be there, but we're not going to be uh, here. Our retreat's going to be up in Amicalola Falls, which is on the opposite side, or than the North Georgia Mountains, which is really pretty too. And I'm sad that I can't be there, but because it's, oh, the ocean. But I'm sad that I can't be there. And I'm happy to be in uh, and it turns out that this time I don't have a oceanfront view but that's okay I got a standing shower instead <laughs> but last time I was here I had a double with a big uh, ocean view but I reckon those are probably designed for a family of four a family of five and just a nice view that moms and dads and kids, families, friends, whoever, I uh, can look out. At least I've got a place to stay and they didn't drop my reservation because uh, I came in last minute for an extra night. I'm just really thankful. So anyway, I'm in, I'm going to unpack now and then walk around in a bit. stimming I'm so nervous stimming for me when I uh, get nervous I flap my hands and I'm going <laughs> I mean I know that looks funny and I look like a little kid but <laughs> I do that kind of stuff <laughs> okay anyway I need to uh, pick up <laughs> this all oh, these bag is full of stuff <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but um, uh, <laughs> you decide. <laughs> 